afternoon, good evening, good morning, everybody out there, YouTube land. This is Invader Moz, and we're coming to you with another video. It's been, what, a year? It's been crazy, guys. I haven't done videos in forever. But we're going to start off with a new video. We're shooting this on my new iPhone, so we're going to try this out, because we're going to use the camera to do some photography. So guys, come join me as we start taking some pictures. All right, fellas, as you can see, we got some figures. We're going to do a scene here. We're doing this for Facehugger Friday, although I don't I don't think we're going to use any facehuggers. We may. We'll come back to it. But we're definitely going to use some Mandalorians because I got the uh, Beskar Mando finally, Hot Toys Beskar Mando. And I got the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian, which just today went waitlisted from Sideshow. So good luck finding this guy. I'm sorry if any of you guys missed out. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this scene of them, these two, protecting baby Grogu, surrounded by aliens. And we're going to do this with one alien. I have another one, uh, but it's the grid, and it's very distinguishable. I don't want to, I don't want you to, the, to instantly think of AVP when you see the alien. So we got several lights, and uh, we got the cannon here, the... Canon EOS R, or excuse me, EOS R, I wish. EOS M50. I haven't focused or anything the camera in yet. Uh, we got some Loom Cube panel minis up here. I got a couple more we're going to use. We're going to use some gels and stuff. I got some Loom Cube, like regular Loom Cubes as well. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this, let's get this over here. We're going to take this side here and see how he's got this flamethrower effect. We're going to replace that in post. But we're going to use that as kind of a guideline for uh, the drawing that we're going to use for the flamethrower. And we're going to replace that in post, but all the lighting we're going to try to do here in the studio. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some hard yellow white light because when flame is really hot, that's more of the cast of white it's going to get. It's not going to be as red. It's going to be a very white, very small tint of orange to it. So we're going to have a lot of that light coming from, from basically from the front of the flame. So we're going to try to get a light coming from over here. And it should cast all the way along him here. And then what we're going to do is, since he's going to be firing this heavy blaster, we're going to get a red light and basically point it at the front of this guy. Uh, right over in here, straight at him. So he's going to be bathed in red. And then we're going to kind of wash that out a little bit with a a more neutral light. I don't think it's going to be warm. It'll probably be cooler than warm. And we're going to have an overhead neutral, you know, white, maybe bluish white light to kind of get you some regular color out of this instead of all hot orange and red. So we're going to do that. And then with the alien, we're going to take a lot of pictures of this alien. We're going to move him around the scene, and we're going to do a lot of different shots with him. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'm going to have to set the camera down, and while I'm setting up the first shot, we're going to be on pause here, but I will be back with you. So you won't notice the difference. We're going to just skip ahead in time as far as you're concerned, but we're going to get some of this set up, and we'll go over the setup some more. All right, guys, so this looks like it's going to be our initial light setup here, although my red light seems to have gone out. Is battery bloody dead? That's not going to be cool. The battery is dead. We will need to replace that light. That's okay. We got more. So be right back. All right. So we got the battery. Or actually, a whole other light. It's the end of the week, so I haven't charged these guys yet. Uh, over here, we got a yellowish, basically a warm filter on top. Uh, and on top of that, a red filter. To kind of give us the orange that we want we got our regular white here um which is running at was it 5600 kelvin and these are loom cube panel minis they're like 50 60 bucks a piece they're really cool lights and then over here we're using my old phone because i just upgraded as i said Oop, that's annoying um and it's running the trigger for the camera which is really awesome um because i use slower shutter speeds as you can see 
I'm rocking a one second shutter time. I don't want to get a jitter from the, from the trigger. So now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to add the alien. All right. So we got our, our raw shot here. This is kind of what it's going to look like. Let's do a shot and I'll put it in there for you. We're going to double check our focus. No, the one on his face. No, not way over there. On his face. You're killing me. How about Amanda's face? Mm -hmm. On his face. That's better. All right, so we'll take a quick shot of that. And uh, we can go over here and preview it. So there we go. This is a quick shot that we're doing here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start adding some aliens in here. We're gonna head and probably add the first one over here by where the camera's gonna be, so that's gonna be fun, or the light, I mean. So uh, I'm gonna set this down and we'll figure that out. Be right back. All right, so we got uh, one alien posed over here. It's not, if you get over here, he's not really aiming at it, but hopefully it'll come off right. And we're gonna have him kind of miss this alien here on, behind him, uh, mainly because I can't get the uh, alien position right where I want and keep my lighting the same uh, so you know he's missing him for right now go ahead and take that shot and we're just gonna use this little phone app which is cool boom really nice gorgeous Bluetooth shot so we got that and what we're gonna do later is basically mask that base out since we took a, a raw shot of him so that's pretty awesome and then we're gonna go ahead and grab another alien and uh we're gonna grab another alien and well the same alien and go ahead and move him for the next shot it's gonna be pretty cool all right guys so we've uh successfully moved the uh, alien around the room here and got some interesting shots with him i'll show them to you after uh after i work on them and post there so I'm going to have to basically mask the alien in to each shot that I want to use them in. And I've already noticed a small problem, but I've already moved the figure. So it's, I don't know if my Photoshop skills are going to be able to handle it. But the problem I ran into is I had forgotten to get a second set of these lights to point towards the alien for the shot I'm going to use the alien over there. Because this fire, of course, is going to cast light on the alien as well. And granted, it is casting light on them just a bit but it's a spill and it should be casting a more full light on them so there i made a mistake i'm gonna notice it forever you may not have noticed it if i didn't say anything but uh we shall see how this all works out in post and uh maybe i'll get some software so we can uh, record that as well i don't even know what to use i'll google some maybe so uh we'll be back in just a few minutes enjoy All right, guys, so we got Lightroom here, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and start doing our editing. First off, we're gonna find our base image, which I believe is this one here. Let's double check. Yeah, it's gonna be an alien there. That's not gonna have my red. So yeah, here's your base image. And hopefully nothing moves after that. Good, yeah. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna grab, gonna control click and grab both of these and edit open as layers and Photoshop and don't mind the Darth Maul I kind of cheat and keep using that uh, font thingy all right so we got both layers here in Photoshop first thing I want to do though is correct this little bit here because we're not going to resize this yet so we're gonna grab the rubber stamp tool increase our brush size and we're just gonna Alt click and try to mask that out. That's too harsh. Let's uh, take our brush opacity here. Let's uh, let's just play with that a little bit. Just want to kind of mask that out. Doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to have an alien there. So what we're going to do now is uh, get off of that. We're going to select 
the top layer here, this uh, the layer we were just working on, we're going to make a layer mask. And then what we're going to do is we are going to bring the opacity down of the layer mask, of the layer there. And see how we got the alien in here? We're going to take our masking brush and we're going to mask that alien into the picture. But we do want to set the opacity back up. So we're just bringing him into the picture. A lot of people, when they do these... Uh, these things, what they do is they basically select the subject and remove it and all that happy stuff. I don't like doing that. I tend to get bad, bad outlines on the figures when I do that. So we're just going to quietly just do this masking process here. Make the brush smaller because we don't want a whole bunch of extra stuff. So, just want to grab that, grab the arm. So, there we go. And I'm using a soft brush, it's not that hard. Um, I'm going to grab that. And if we make a mistake, it's not a big deal. We can, uh, we can just go back with the white instead of black. And uh, mask it back out of the picture. So that's a general idea. Let's turn the opacity back up on our top layer. And uh, there we have it. And you see down here, we got our shadows. So we're going to zoom in. And we're going to switch this to white. And we're going to make this brush a little smaller. And just kind of clean that up as best as we can. I mean, it's going to be small. I mean, it's going to be an Instagram. So it doesn't need to be perfect. But, uh, you know, just try to get as much of that out of there as possible. Maybe go back in here and see if they can make this darker, just more. Sometimes you have to go over the, with the brush twice. It's really weird. Even though you get it to 100%, it's just really finicky, at least on mine. We want to get this, calm down that outline a little bit. And uh, let's fix up by his head because he's too dark up there. Where is that? No, that's... That's right, actually. Oops, I just go control Z. And that red's good. It's all good there. All right. So we got the alien in there, one of them. So we're going to save this. Although, uh, we'll come back and fix that later. So we're going to save this because if we try to save it now, it gets kind of wonky as far as uh, <clears throat> it gets kind of wonky as far as uh, the 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 when you have multiple layers and you've got the uh, mask going on, it just gets really wonky because it uh, you got to select the mask that you're actually copying from. It's just a whole bunch of hard work. We just want to we, we'll do that. We'll re-edit it later. So I'm gonna flag this one. I'm gonna rate it because uh, this is the one I've already set up one. Now let's look at uh, the next one here. Yeah, okay, let's see. Hmm. I like that one better. Uh, let's see. And then we got uh, an alien coming in from the front here. He's kind of broken out. The question is, do we use that one? Or do we use this one? Or do we use this one? Kind of cut off Baby Grogu a little bit. Whoa. Let's take a look at Baby Grogu while we go through this. Um, you can't really change his expression, unfortunately. So which one do we want to use? Let's see. I think we're going to end up using this one. Let's double check one more time. That one cuts a lot of him off. Um, yeah, that one's good. I like it. So we're going to take this one here. Let's see, we got to select it. We're going to go back to our rated one and hit uh, control and select them both. And we're going to edit in Photoshop, open as layers in Photoshop. <laughs> and we're going to mask the alien in. So, uh, what we're going to do is change this opacity again. 
so we can see. I'm gonna set it even lower because this alien's kind of hard to see. I'm gonna make it almost non-existent here because we just want to draw right on top of that. We're gonna set our mask again. Grab our brush and make that bigger. And we're just gonna mask this all in here. All in. We just wanna bring that in. My mouse for some reason likes to skip. I don't know why. I'm gonna shrink that down. God bless it. Stop it. Now, the cool thing is with up there is it shouldn't be too different because we aren't changing much. Um, so the shadows and whatnot, the outline of the figure shouldn't be a big deal. Let's try put the opacity back up. What did I not do here? Huh. Oh, Jesus, but you, all right. Let's do this again, but have the right brush selected. That helps a lot, I've noticed in the past. Because if you use the wrong brush, uh, like I just did, um, you're going to have no real change. It's going to look just the way it did before you started. So the way uh, masks work is, uh, so right now, as you see uh, over here, See, this is all white, and we just painted in all black where this arm's going to be, and that's going to cause that arm from the layer below it to show up. Now, if this was a layer above it, we would want to paint it white, but it's not. It's a layer below it. So let's take a look. We may have to do some finer detail work. No, that turned out pretty good there. That turned out really good. I like it. I'm really happy with that. So now we're going to save that, and we're going to go to the next one. So let's save. The problem is though with this one is we did kind of get rid of the, the head of the other alien, didn't we? That's sad. That's really sad. Maybe we'll move that alien. We'll see if we can move it later. All right, so now we got that. We're gonna rate this one because that's our newest one here make that a five and then we're gonna find another See, that's a good one too you get more alien head there you know what let's try this both ways shall we let's do this we can work on more than one at a time so we grabbed our old image and the new image The problem is, though, I think what's going to happen is if we layer this, there's like no flamethrower. Yeah, look at that. It's pretty much all gone. You don't get to see any flamethrower. You don't know what's going on over there. So that's not going to work. We're going to just close this out. No, we're not going to save that. So let's go back to Lightroom. We got a head over here. We can opt to use that. Um, I didn't like that pose. I don't like that pose. He's leaning. Leaning Tower Pisa. There we go. Let's try this one. And of course, given how close we are, oh, oh, given how close we are, um, because, you know, we're close to the, we got the camera in pretty close to this, we, uh, we can't get all the aliens that they're shooting at, you know? Um, it's just not gonna happen, it just can't work. Let's change the opacity here, bring that all the way down. Mask again. We got black selected this time, the brush selected this time. Let's paint this guy in. You know, just basically a fat paintbrush. You may have to go through and clean up some, some stuff here and there, but uh, and we can do that after we painted them in. Let's make this brush smaller for the arm. Yeah, we just want to get that arm in there. Real nice there, real nice. Just kind of... I have this weird issue with this mouse. It's, it drives me crazy on this computer. It likes to jump around as if it was dirty, but it's not dirty. 
and uh, I'm always fighting it. I don't know why. Maybe you guys can leave a comment down below and tell me if you know what's going on with my mouse, why I keep having this problem. Uh, if it helps, it's a Razer Naga. Um, so, you know, that's what I'm working with. Uh, okay. And of course, we don't want the base. Nobody wants the base. Base is useless. All your base are belong to nobody because I don't want it. Alright, so... You see this gun outline and everything, but we're not done. We can we can play around here. Bring that up some. Bring that up. Bring that up. Get the arm there. We can just go through and uh, play with all that. Want to get those shadows right. Make sure we're not taking anything out that's not supposed to be there or that that is supposed to be there all right so now we're gonna go back to white zoom in and uh just clean this up make that small get that lighting out of there it doesn't have to be perfect although my ocd is going to want it to be as perfect as possible so yeah, you guys have Way, I think but yeah you're just just basically erasing everything without doing any actual damage to anything which is nice that's why I like the masking tool um, what I have a problem with is uh, you see a lot of other people do the selection you know in their other videos they'll, they'll select what they want and then paste it on something else and select it and all that stuff selecting has never worked in my favor doing a quick selection or even using the pen tool I've always had some discrepancies that I just the, the selecting does not work for me it works for other people not me it hates me that's all there is to it selecting hates me the selection tool hates me but we just want to get this cast uh, where is that it looks like, oops, I don't know what I just did, but we don't want to erase things. Let's go back to black here. Yeah. Okay, that's supposed to be there. All right, cool. Let's go back to white, come down here. Just kind of nail that in a little bit better. Tighten this up. All right. Now, usually I do a whole bunch of smoke effects and stuff, but, uh, didn't do that this time. We're gonna try some other stuff out. I haven't figured out what yet, but we're gonna try some other stuff out. So we got the basics of what we want here, so we're gonna save this. I'm really sad that we lost the uh, this guy's face over here. But uh, we saved it. I hope this is recording, by the way. <laughs> it's my first time trying to do this. So we'll close out of that. And then um, this is uh, what we're working with here. We're going to have to crop this now because Instagram is going to want a 4.5 uh, 4 aspect ratio. So let's see what we lose here. All right, we lost a little bit something, something. What, what are you doing? Stop being difficult. 4.5, you should just move. There we go. This is always where I have a rough time. Where do we cut it off at? I think we're going to cut it off on this side. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. That way I don't have to draw the effect over here at the end of his gun, even though I wanted to initially. We only have to draw this effect in. And we're going to have to find the effect to do that. So this should be fun. Um, so we're going to open this back up in Photoshop. But first, I'm going to do some changes to it. I'm going to, I want to bring the blacks, I guess, up, down. I don't know. I'm going to make it blacker right there. So we brought the blacks down to, you know, I kind of wing this. I don't know what I'm doing, really. Bring the whites up a little bit. I like the extremes. Um, bring the shadows in. Uh, some highlights in. Yeah, real nice there. Contrast, I like to bring up a little bit. And I'm going to flatten this out a little bit here in the end. But 
Uh, let's bring the clarity in, which is going to give some real play on the metallics here. And then just up the texture real nice there. Um, I don't think I need to do any dehazing. Yeah, I'm not messing with the dehazing. Vibrance, I'm going to leave alone. Um, I don't really need to play with these colors at all. Uh, in fact, I don't even know if I have to Photoshop that fire, to be honest with you. That fire is looking really good now that I've done that, right? So we're going to sharpen this. I like to just sharpen to 70. Just poof, sharpen to 70. And then the masking, what you want to do is you hold down Alt, and you're going to hit this masking, and you want to get all the non-essential stuff out. So you're going to bring that up basically, basically like this. So, you know, you don't want to mask out your creatures per se, but usually... I know this alien is going to hate me, but 25 is real nice. It's going to give it a real nice sharp. And then we're going to play with the luminance. And I just kind of play with these knobs until I see what I like. Uh, up the detail a little bit, which, you know, I could be doing this wrong. Who knows? Um, there we go. I just like to move the knobs at this point because this is uh, outside my warehouse. I could be doing the wrong thing. Who knows? All right. So we're done with all that, right? <clears throat> Now we're going to edit this back in Photoshop. I might have to grab Photoshop because Photoshop likes to do its own thing. There we go. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to find a floor texture I like. So we're just going to drag that in there. And we're going to put it at the floor height, which is right about here. And we're going to make this this wide. We're going to make it this wide. We might not even like this. We're going to have to see. We're going to have to zoom out, though. And we're going to make this so and so long if it will grab it. Okay, it won't be difficult. Okay. And then we're going to kind of save that and reselect it. We're going to go to edit and we're going to transform and we're going to distort it. Now this is a little cheat that I found to do flooring. We're going to bring this guy way over here. And this guy way over here. And bring this back down. And make this kind of straighter. Alright. And we're going to leave it like that. Now you guys are probably sitting there going, but that looks funny, Moz. Why are we going to do that? Well, then we're going to do color dodge. Now, see, this may not work. Um, mainly because these little divot things are too big. So that's not going to work. We're going to just delete that. We're going to start over with a different texture. Let's try this one. This could be interesting. So again, we're going to do the same thing. We want to make it about this wide here because we're going to play with the aspects, of course. And then we're going to go to Edit, Transform, Distort. And we're going to make it wide here and wide here. All right, I'm going to select that change the well that looks kind of like lava doesn't it I'm going to play with the, uh, the fill of it a little bit no that's not going to work at all is it let's try a different yeah none of it's going to give it what I want we lose again bad texture for this alright hey I said delete Beat mon frere. All right, let's find something a little less. I mean, I could go with this recycled aluminum flooring, but I was really trying not to do that. I was really trying hard not to do that because these tiles are so small. Bring that down a little bit. The floor is right about there. Widen this up. Okay. to distort it and we're going to bring this down here bring you down 
here. Bring this out even wider, further up. There we go. All right, so that's gonna look better. Now we want to color dodge this. Wow, it just disappeared, didn't it? Wait a minute, color dodge is not gonna work here, is it? That's so weird. I hate this trial and error stuff I'm doing right now. Usually I have this stuff working pretty well. Let's get rid of that. He's not working either. All right. This one always works. seeing anything. Huh. That is so funky. Ah, there we go. Overlay. Perfect. That works. So, the cool thing with this, this whole thing we're doing here is see how we're casting the shadows still on the floor, which is awesome. We love that. So all we got to do now is the same trick as we did before. We're going to take this, we're going to mask it out. We're going to mask out on top of the figures. And uh, just take that off of there. And if my mouse doesn't jump around, that'd be great. Because nobody likes a mouse that jumps around. Nobody. We all like our mice to behave. And we're going to have to tighten this up, obviously. I'm doing this real quick for you. But, uh, so you got that there. Really cool there. Really cool. Just bringing them right back out into the forefront. It's really awesome. Make sure I don't miss anything. Whoa, whoa, mouse went crazy. Don't go crazy, mouse. No crazy for you. Take a little closer look here. Zoom in some. I'm gonna fix that. Oh, that's right. Okay. All right. Looking good. So we just need to tighten up. Maybe over here a little bit. There we go. Got that. We're gonna have to tighten up the other color. Get that in there. there so we basically use this to cover up my crappy cloth blanket thing which is you know awesome we like covering up that that stuff right guys oh we gotta fix that rock on rock on what is this here Let's, uh, let's see what this is. Oh, nope. Not what we want to do. Not what we want to do at all. Okay. Let's find the way it is then. All right. So, uh, we got all that rocking. Good times. Noodle salad. I'm digging that. And we're going to now fix the fire, I think. Actually, I'm really happy with the fire the way it is. I mean, anything I do to it's gonna make it look photoshoppy, right? I don't even know if I have to deal with the stand. Let's uh, make sure we're selecting the right thing here. Let's turn that off for now. And 
just come in with a tight rubber stamp here. And basically, we're just going to rubber stamp that out of there. I mean, given that this whole thing is just impossible to see anyway, I mean, you're going to have to really look for it to see it. So we got that. I think it's looking pretty tight, guys. Pretty tight indeed. Let's turn that floor back on. Yeah, real good. Now, the question is, do we want to add some kind of background? In which case, I'm going to have to look around for a background, obviously. So, uh, let me uh, pause real quick, guys, and we'll come back and see if i got a background that works. All right, guys, so uh, we didn't really find a background that we like, but I think we're going to stick with this. We're going to save this guy. I kind of dig it. We're going to save that. And this is where I cheat. Now, well, I don't, I don't really cheat. I just use what's available to me. Um, we're going to save this and go back to Lightroom. As soon as this is done. 99%. It's still ticking. It's ticking. It's ticking. It doesn't want to be fast about anything it's doing, obviously. Nope, not at all. It doesn't want to be quick at all. Just look at that. Just sitting there. Sitting there. Doesn't help their recording this, obviously, but uh, there it goes. We gotta close this out, though, of course, to make sure that works. So go back to Lightroom, and boom, here's our scene in Lightroom, looking good, looking great. And uh, we're going to go to color, and we're gonna browse through the color wheels here. I don't usually play with these too much. I don't know why I selected that. Um, just go back to this right here. So you can just hover over and see what color you know, calls out to you, right? See what, uh, this is basically like a filter set. So it just, uh, takes its own little things and makes it all pretty. So what it does is it's, it's like a kit that's gonna up the blacks or do some contrast adjustments. Ooh, see, this is nice for the reflections here. I like this one. I'm really digging this one here. It's really bringing out that fire f effect over there on the Mando. So we're going to consider Modern 1 here. Modern 2, not so much. Modern 1, I think I like better. Um, I don't think I'm going to find a better one, but we're going to see. Uh, no. No. I always kind of like these, but I'm afraid it washes it out too much for Instagram. The vintage ones, I like those a lot. Uh, I think Modern One's got it, guys. I think Modern One's going to be it. It's just really bringing out those harsh flame colors and everything. And I don't, I don't think I'm going to change it at all. I'm going to leave it just the way it is. Uh, maybe bring it down a little bit. Let me see. Not really seen a change at all. <laughs> Minuscule changes, even when you go all the way down. Ah, what what happened? Oh, I put my mouse over. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. Um, I would draw in a fire effect here, but I didn't light up his face. So he hasn't fired yet, guys. I'm sorry. Go ahead and close that out. And we're going to tag this one as done, I think. This is going to be Facehugger Friday's post uh, tomorrow, uh, March 5th. So we're going to go ahead and uh, edit in Photoshop again. Just this. We're going to add my little watermark to it. And when I do that, that's why I have Darth Maul open, because he's got the watermark saved right there. Just copy him. Um, drag them over here. And, yeah, just kind of put that down here. 
I don't know if I want to stick with the red. Let's see. Should I stick with the red? I think I will. I think we'll stick with the red this time. So we'll, f we'll save that. And that's it. This is, this is probably a longer video, guys. So, uh, you know, if you're still stuck with me, I appreciate it. Much appreciated, guys. And uh, thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys learned something. I mean, I don't confess. I confess I don't know everything that I'm doing. But uh, I'm trying things out. And I'm willing to share it with you when I have the time to record and edit and stuff. So this may end up on Instagram before I get the editing done. We shall see. Enjoy, guys. Thanks again for watching. Appreciate it. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks again, guys.